Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's learn about unit cube and cubic units. We need to know what these are when we do problems on volume. Okay, so here we go. But what is a unit cube? A unit cube is a cube which has got one unit as its side. Okay, so each of these edges or these sides are one unit and therefore this cube over here is called a unit cube. Now, the amount of space that this object occupies is its volume, right? And the volume of a unit cube is equal to one cubic unit, okay? So, this is a unit cube and the volume of the unit cube, its volume is equal to one cubic unit, okay? So, cubic unit is a measure of volume. And one cubic unit is the volume of a unit cube, this solid object over here, okay? Now, this unit can be anything. It can be one centimeter or it can also be one meter. Now, in the case that this one unit is equal to one centimeter, we refer to this object as a centimeter cube and then its volume becomes one cubic centimeter, okay? So, the volume of a centimeter cube is one cubic centimeter okay so one cubic centimeter which is also written as one centimeter cube or one cc is the amount of space that a centimeter cube occupies right a cube which has its sides equal to one centimeter in the same way a meter cube has its volume equal to one cubic meter or one meter cube okay and that's the amount of space or that's the volume of a meter cube, okay? So if there is a cube here like this, which had each of its sides equal to one meter, like this, this was a cube, and this was one meter, this was one meter, and this was also one meter, then the volume that this solid occupies will be equal to one meter cube, okay, or one cubic meter. All right, now we use unit cubes to build solids, okay, and let me show you how. So here is a unit cube, okay, I use a few of these. This over here, and this over here, and this over here, okay. So I use four unit cubes to make this solid over here. Now its volume is equal to four cubic units simply because I used four unit cubes. So one, two, three, and four. So its volume is equal to four cubic units. Now let's make another solid using maybe a different number of unit cubes. Let's say one, two, three, four, and five, okay. Now this solid over here is made of five unit cubes, one, two, three, four, and five. So then obviously its volume is equal to five cubic units. So which of these two solids has a larger volume? Well, simply the one who's got more number of unit cubes. So this solid over here has obviously got a larger volume than this solid over here because the volume of this solid is five cubic units whereas the volume of this solid over here is only four cubic units. All right, now let's play around with these unit cubes and see what we can do. All right, now what I have here with me are eight unit cubes and what we're going to do with these unit cubes is we're going to build objects, solid objects, okay? So let's do that. Let me use all these eight and make something, okay? So let's see. We place them next to each other in any fashion we like and see what we get, okay? So, we can put this on top of here, this here, and this one here, okay? So what I've done here is I've used these eight unit cubes to form this solid object over here. And this solid object, well, the volume of this solid object is equal to eight cubic units because it's made of eight unit cubes. So the volume of this object is equal to eight 
cubic units, okay? Because each of these cubes has sides which are equal to one unit, okay? The length is one unit, the breadth is one unit, and the height is also one unit. So the volume of this solid object over here, let's call it object A or solid A, its volume is equal to eight cubic units. Now, what I can also do is take these eight cubes and arrange them maybe in a different way, okay? Say I have these eight cubes again, and maybe I want to use them to make a different solid. Okay, so I take this, then I take this one here. Maybe I want to place this here in front of two. This one here. And I make this object now using these eight cubes. Now, what is the volume of this object called B? Well, it's still eight cubic units because I used eight unit cubes to make this object. So you see here, different objects can have the same volume. Although these two solids have different shapes, they can still have the same volume as long as we use eight unit cubes for each of them. Similarly, I can make another object as well using eight cubes. Say, you know, for example, I place them maybe like this. And what I've got here is a solid, which I call C, which also has a volume of eight cubic units, same as the object B and object A, because it's also made of eight unit cubes. So you see here, different solids can have the same volume as long as they're made of the same number of unit cubes. Okay, so that's that about unit cubes and cubic units. In another lesson, we'll use unit cubes to find out the volume or actually the formula to calculate the volume of cubes and cuboids. Until then, why don't you go and solve some practice exercises as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.